Champagne breakfast. I wasn't expecting this much food, <laughs> but yay. Should we go through it? Well, what I think what we should do yeah. is unwrap it all. Yeah. Just so we can show everyone, because at the moment it just it's like a bit, all I can see is pastries and champagne. Yeah, okay. So, with magic, we shall unwrap. Click your fingers. Oh. <gasps> it worked. So we have pastries, we've got some pan chocolate, some Danish pastries, um, some croissants, chocolate muffins, and I'm assuming blueberry muffins. Oh, nice. I'm not really sure. Um, we've got some hams and cheeses and grapes. I'm assuming this is like a dried apple. Oh, yeah, like dried apricots. Oh, it nice. smells funky. Maybe not eating that. Um, a bottle of champagne. Well, a half bottle of champagne, which is... We're going to drink that mark. now. Do you think it's half mine? I don't know. Yeah. Well, we have got orange juice, though. Yeah, maybe. And then we've got some fruits. We've got some watermelon, pineapple, kiwi, grapes, and melon. I guess this is the yogurt. And orange juice. Orange juices, selections of tea and coffee, and some milk, and some butter. Just tuck in then. Yeah. What deck are we on? Deck seven. What's on deck seven? We've got Java, the coffee shop. We've got the glass house, the crystal room, which we're about to walk past. Oh. Uh, that's quite good for me. Look, there's a theatre. The sounds are going on. So we've just come down to Java, which is on level seven and I've ordered a caramel latte. It's proud to serve Costa, it's not a Costa, but it's proud to serve. And it's barista made, so they do have someone there obviously frothing up all the uh, milk. So I've got a caramel latte and Dan's gone for a nice J2O. We're literally just sitting here now for a little while, just people watch over the kind of main atrium area and it's quite nice, it's relaxing, people are reading books and they're just plugging the piano in, so I'm hoping someone's gonna come and play piano in a minute. Hmm. going to do? We are going to go and find some bingo tickets so we can do bingo this afternoon. Yeah. Um, we'll let you know how much it costs. How much was that? So it was £15 for the tickets, it's five games and then at the end is a... Five games? Five games and then you've got extra there as well. Ah. Um, £2 for the bingo dabber, we were meant to take over we forgot. <laughs> so £17 in total. So we've got to be at the live lounge 10 minutes before 3.30. I hope we win. Yeah, fingers crossed. So we're back at the Horizon Buffet. I've gone for a roast chicken. I've also had some um, roasted courgettes on the side as well, as well as a roll. Just waiting for Georgie to come back. Nice calm sea out there today. He's back. I'm back from the buffet. What you got? I have gone for a cauliflower and chickpea korma with rice and some poppadoms. Nice. There's a couple of options there, so there's Chinese, but um, the other curry option was a lamb, and I'm not really a fan of lamb, okay. so I thought I'd go for the vegetarian option today. Lunch time, let's tuck in. Yes. Are you asking me a question? I wanted to see how long you could stay silent. You managed four seconds. It's because it's just a bit awkward. <laughs> staring at me. So how was the buffet lunch today? Was it as good as yesterday? It wasn't as good as yesterday. There wasn't as many options for kind of different meats. Everything was kind of lamb. 
you got a chicken breast that you didn't even want, did you? Mm. You just kind of put it on your plate. Um, I would have said take it back, but we wouldn't have allowed that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm full, but I think because we have the breakfast in the room, that's kind of filled me up anyway. Yeah. So we're not having dessert. I can't be bothered to go up there for dessert. We might steal some milk and take back to the room. I was about to say that. You stole Did my you? tip. Ah. So yes. it's not might, we are going to steal, are gonna steal, some, steal some milk to put in the fridge so yeah. we can have cups of tea. So we we're just looking at the uh, wildlife outside, so now and again you come across like a, um, a, a flock of seagulls just sitting in the water chilling. But it's 28 miles to land that way and 23 miles to land that way. So I kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's <laughs> very odd, very odd. Right, so the plan is we're going to head back to the room, freshen yeah. up, and yeah. then what are we doing at half past three? Bingo, which I think, by the way, instead of shouting bingo, now you have to clap. I'm not sure. But we've got bingo. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Where are we, Georgie? We are in the live lounge because it's bingo time. You've got the cards, haven't you? You better have the cards. No, but you've got the. I've got the dabber. The most important bit. Green or red, obviously. I had to go for red, because it's just no. red. Uh, and here's the ones you bought earlier. Which we showed you earlier. Yeah. Hopefully they're winners, but I don't even know what the jackpot is, do you? No. So we have turned up at three o'clock, so we're half an hour early, and it's... We had a good pick of the tables, so I, I don't know when it does actually get busy. No. But we just thought we'd play it safe. These chairs also spin around, so quite fun. <laughs> Okay, let's get dabbing. Just next door, three and seven, thirty-seven. Five and three, it's fifty-three. All the fives, that's fifty-five. On its own, it's the number five. Four and two. It's 42. <sighs> Georgie. Yes. You bought losing tickets. I know. Strips. I'm really disappointed actually. <laughs> I think I was one away at one point, so I got really excited, and then some <laughs> bingo just ruined my life. It was over so quickly, wasn't it? It was only half an hour. Yeah, it was half an hour. Uh, top prize was what, 100 quid? And yeah. 80. 80 quid, it wasn't even 100 quid. But 400 pounds if you. Got it got 48. Yeah, full house but within that. They already know when they're giving that away, don't they? Because it's all on the system. Yeah, so that was not fun. They only do um, bingo on sea days as well, so I'm gutted that tomorrow will be in Glasgow because we won't be able to do it tomorrow. So we'll have to come back Thursday, Dan. No, but we're having a wander around the ship tomorrow. We're going to look at everything tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah. And we haven't really touched much of the ship, have we? We're just kind of. No, not really. No. We had a look around the art gallery today, didn't we? Yeah, I went to the gym earlier as well. It's the first time I've gone to the gym in about 20 years. I'm 27. What did you so. do in the gym? I went on a bicycle ride around San Francisco. Should we put some video in now? Because yeah. you did some video, didn't you? But What's going on in this video? In this video, so I was going around San Francisco on the little screen. Yeah. But I was on automatic control going around like the gradients and stuff. And it okay. Wasn't, it wasn't that much resistance. So in the end, I just done it myself. And but surely S San Fran is all like massive hills. Well, that's what I thought, that's why I selected <laughs> it. But no, it was like level three out of like 15. Yeah. So um, I might go back tomorrow and try another one, see if it's any better. Okay. So, and then, yeah, and then we went to Bingo. We just had a wander around downstairs, had a look in the gift shop, as you've seen. Um, and that's really been it. We've just come up here just to have a look at the back of the ship. Yeah. And we're going to go back to the cabin again. I feel like we're saying it's all the time to freshen up. <laughs> ready for dinner. I feel I, like we're going to go to the crow's nest tonight. Yeah. Because we quite like drink. that. Um, but also want to go back to the cabin, use the binoculars and have a look at warships. There's a warship over there. Okay. I know it's kind of sad, but something to do. Let's go.
So we're here in the Meridian. Yes, we are. The other Freedom Dining restaurant that's open at the moment. Of course, the Oriental isn't open. No. What have you gone for? I've gone for, I never know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I used to call it pho, then I called it pa, then pho soup. Um, that's my starter and for my main course I've gone on the chef's recommendations which is a carved slow roast pork belly. I like the pork I had yesterday in the buffet so I'm just hoping it's the same. How about you? I've gone for the avocado, avocado <laughs> half with, say that Georgie? Gribiche? Dressing which is served on Spanish tomato bread and then yep. I've gone for a trice baked onion and garlic souffle cheese sauce and bruschetta. Nice. So the next thing you'll see is those dishes while I munch on this roll. of the Meridian restaurant. We didn't end up having dessert because we were quite full, especially because of lunch, well, breakfast, lunch, and then dinner too. So we thought we'd kind of cut it short, not have dessert because we are going into a show in just a little while and we're going to watch the sound of the underground in the theatre. So the thing about a cruise is that you can eat whatever you want, whenever you want. And even though we had dinner just over 90 minutes ago, Georgie has come to the buffet and has some chips you know and... We're okay, thank you. As I say, you know I said a couple of minutes ago that I didn't want a dessert. This is now my dessert. Oh, I haven't got to the dessert bit yet. Oh, okay. I was waiting for you to tell us what that was. That is... So I don't know how much salt's coming out of this. It's taken a while. Okay, how much is... What is that? How much is it? It's really... That's a charmaine. So I got some chow mein, which has some broccoli and carrots and rice noodles in it. Okay, cool. We came here for dessert and Georgie decided to have him savoury. So here we are. I've just gone for dessert, but... But as I was eating chow mein, I thought, mm, I really want some chips. I just went out and got some chips. So there were not many of these. Let's see, let's see how much I've got. Oops. So now I got back to my cabin, it's about 10pm, I do kind of regret getting the chow mein and chips, especially when we were just going up there for dessert and I ended up getting more kind of heavy food. Um, but talking of food, we've had a really good day today, especially in regards to food. The champagne breakfast I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, we've still got some muffins left which we stored, as well as a bottle of champagne. We thought it was kind of too, not too early for champagne, but we're not really morning drinkers. So we've got that aside still to drink. Um, or we could just take it off the ship, but we probably will drink it at some point on this cruise. It was nice, um, the meats were nice, I didn't find the cheeses that great, I don't like blue cheese anyway, um, but there's a selection of fruit and cheeses, um, pastries, it was hams, so it was quite good, it was quite nice, and um, the yoghurt, hmm, I think it was a Greek yoghurt even though it said peach on it, but still, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. And then lunch wise, that was not as great as we had yesterday, but again, still still okay. And then dinner in the main restaurant, I found it kind of odd, because what I ordered in the main restaurant, when we went up to the buffet afterwards, all of what I ordered was there, so we could have just gone up there in shorts and t-shirt, a bit more chilled than getting in a shirt, but it was absolutely fine. And then this evening we chilled, um, kind of by Java, we had a coffee, and then came back to the cabin. I'm still kind of getting over the fact that I didn't win bingo today. I was really hoping it was, as it was the first time a P and O, like there was some weird magic that would make me win. But you know, someone else won, and I'm really, 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 really pleased for them. But um, I've still got a bingo dabber, so that's something. It's kind of like a treat in itself, isn't it? I get to look at my bingo dabber, and you know, hope to play bingo again at some point, maybe on this cruise if Dan lets me. But I kind of doubt that. Um, the gym. I was only up there for like 45 minutes earlier 
I haven't exercised that much most of my life, so in my head it was kind of a good test to go to the gym, because if I could go to a gym on a cruise ship during a holiday, why can't I go to a gym when I'm at home on a weekend or after work sometime? So that's kind of my, my thinking behind it, so I might go back to the gym um, and see if I kind of enjoy it or get into it, so then I can kind of carry that home with me. So fingers crossed that works, because I want to get rid of some of my body weight. Anywho, that brings me to the end of the vlog. We hope you have enjoyed watching it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button just down below. And don't forget you can also check out all the menus from the restaurants we ate at today as well as the Horizon Daily Magazine that comes through the door on georgiandan.com. Bye bye.